Hello, hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching the 2009 American drama film, which is based on the adaptation, adaptation of the 1987 Japanese film Hachiko Monogatari. Today we are watching Hachi, a dog's tail. So. When Ronnie gives a presentation at school about a personal hero, he tells the story of his grandfather and his dog Hachiko. Parker Wilson, who is a professor of music who commutes to nearby Providence, Rhode Island, finds a lost puppy on the station platform in Bedridge and takes him home for the night. The puppy remains unclaimed, and the two close, grow close. While he takes it everywhere with him, can a Japanese professor friend tell Sparta that a dog is a breed called an Akita, and that the Japanese character on his collar tag is a number eight Hachi? Sparta's wife Kate eventually warms to the dog, but Hachi. Sleeps outside in his own shed. One spring morning, Hachi, now grown, digs under the fence and follows Potter to the station. He refuses to go home. Potter misses the train. He leaves Hachi and Kate and gets the next one. That afternoon, Hachi hears the train, horns and jumps the fence. Potter is surprised to find Hachi, waiting for him, and e and even more surprised to learn. He has not been waiting all day. The dog somehow knew when Butter was due home. A daily routine begins. They walk to the station together. Hachi goes home, and then he returns when Butter's train is due at five p.m. Butter tries in vain to train Hachi to do normal dogs, dog things like fetching. Amused, Ken explains that. Atitas cannot be bought. If Hachi fetches, it will be for a special reason. When their daughter Andy marries Michael, Hachi is in the family wedding photo. Eventually, Andy Andy announces that she is pregnant. One winter morning, Hachi behaves strangely, but then follows Potter to the station with a ball. And to Potter's delight, fetches it for the first time. After they play for a while, Potter puts the ball the ball in his pocket. Hachi barks and barks and watches the train leaves. Potter is holding the ball when he suffers a fatal stroke in his classroom and dies. Hachi waits. At nine thirty p.m., Michael comes to get him from his shed. Hachi watches the family while Potter's human friends and family gathers at his funeral. Hachi goes to the station to wait. Kate sells the house and moves away. Hachi goes to live with Andy and Michael, and their baby, Ronnie. One day he escapes and follows the train tracks to Bedridge. Andy and Michael find him and bring him home. But Andy realizes the dog is pining for Michael, for Potter, Potter, and opens the gate. He licks her hand and runs to the station. Every day at five p.m., Hachi waits for his best friend. The hot dog seller, Jesse, and others feed him. After a reporter writes a story about him, people send cards and money to the station. Ken reads the piece and comes to town to help. Only to learn how the community loves Hachi. Ken speaks to Hachi in Japanese. He too misses his friend. And on the tenth anniversary of Potter's death, Kate returns to visit her husband's grave. Ken is there too. She is moved to see a now elderly Hachi. Taking his usual position at the station.
at home during Christmas, Tate tells the ten-year-old Ronnie about Hachi and Parker, while the dog slowly settles in place. We see flashbacks of Parker and Hachi together, and then a last passenger pauses in the door. It is Parker who calls Hachi. The old dog raises his, day, his head, and we all see him run into Parker's embrace. A bright light fills the screen, and Hachi lies motionless. His waiting is over. The camera pans over to the night sky as Ronnie narrates that Hachi and his grandfather taught him the meaning of loyalty, that you should never forget anyone you have loved. And in the present, the class applauds at the school bus. Ronnie is met by his dad and a new tiny puppy, which they have also named Hachi. The film ends with Ronnie and the puppy walking down the same track Hachi traveled all those years ago.